Hello everyone, I'm Ansel Prutu Gitti Kare, I'm MD PhD Physiology and your educator for Physiology. Today we'll discuss about pancreatic function test. Before starting my class, I would like to inform you all that you will get all my notes in soft copy as well as hard copy. To get the soft copy, you have to download the application Vesalius and you have to subscribe the course. And uh, for hard copy, you can order my book that is Physiology Notes. That is available on Flipkart as well as Amazon. Link for all that is given in the description box, my application as well as my book. Another announcement here, we have a WhatsApp group. The number is uh, 7863822668. You can join uh, a WhatsApp group. Link for the WhatsApp group that is also given in the description box. Okay. Now let us start today's topic that is pancreatic function test. Okay. Now what is the role of pancreatic function test that is used to perform, uh, that is used to evaluate normal functioning of the pancreas. Okay. And also to find out detect abnormality in the functions of pancreas. Okay. Mainly tests are divided in three different uh, groups. Number one, that is we are analyzing pancreatic juice. Second, that is analysis of the products of digestion. And third, that is estimation of serum amylase level. Okay. Starting with first, that is analysis of pancreatic juice. How we can collect pancreatic juice for that? Uh, you have to insert double human catheter. That is uh, inserted, which, which is having radio opaque uh, tube. Okay. That is for... We can uh, uh, trace it uh, with the help of uh, x-rays. Okay, So radio opaque tube that is to be passed either through nose or mouth till it reaches to, till the tip of the tube reaches to the duodenum near the ampulla of water. Okay, It has two sets of holes. Okay, One that is to collect uh, pancreatic juice that is for duodenal aspiration and second to collect the gastric juice for gastric aspiration okay and other method that is used we can also use a fiber optic catheter that is also introduced under direct vision into the pancreatic duct and we can collect the pancreatic juice okay now uh, analysis of the pancreatic juice that is collected after direct stimulation of pancreas for that what we are supposed to do is ask the person to stay overnight fasted Okay, and after fasting, duodenal and gastric samples are collected as we have introduced the tube, okay, in the morning. And after that, intravenous infusion of secretine is given. Secretine, that is a hormone which stimulates bicarbonate secretion from pancreas. Uh, so here, uh, secretine is given, dose is 12.5 units per kilogram per body weight, secretine is given. And after that, again, duodenal aspirate that is collected at the interval of every 10 minutes. Okay. Over next 80 minutes, you can see here, these are the different intervals according to different uh, uh, parameters. Okay. Here we are using uh, collected samples at the interval of 10 minutes for up to next 80 minutes. Okay. And this aspirated contents, they are examined for volume of the content, pH of the content, bicarbonate secretion okay and uh, enzymes for that for enzymes we are we are injecting cholecystokinin also okay so normal volume of the pancreatic juice that is 2 ml per kilogram in 80 minutes normal bicarbonate concentration that is more than 80 milliequivalents per liter and bicarbonate volume that is more than 10 milliequivalents per liter in 30 minutes and in cases of chronic pancreatitis, this secretory activity is reduced. You can see here in this graph, you can find after we have given, as I told you, 12.5 units per kilogram IV secretin is given. And these are the values which we have taken with different samples at different time interval. Okay. Now, second test that is we can use secretin as well as cholecystokinin. So, combined secretin and CCK test. Here... Uh, first, we have to perform secretin test and after followed by that, we can give cholecystokinin intravenously and the same procedure is repeated. Okay, so here what happens because as I told you, CCK cholecystokinin increases enzyme secretion. Okay, so now you get the pancreatic juice which is rich in enzyme and uh, this test is useful to find out. Suppose some person is having statoria, statoria that is fat in the stool. Okay. And uh, fat in the stool means fat is not absorbed. So we can find out what is the cause of presence of fat in the stool. There are mainly two causes. Number one, that is pancreatic insufficiency. It means pancreatic enzymes are not there. Okay. 
एंड सेकेंड कॉज दैट इज अदर माल एब्जॉर्बन माल एब्जॉर्बन इन ड्रॉक दैट इज डिफेक्ट ऑफ दट इज इन इंटेस्टाइन पैथोलॉजी इज इन द इंटेस्टाइन सो डिफ्रेंशिएट दैट वेदर इट इज पैथोलॉजी इन पैंक्रिया और बिकॉज ऑफ माल एब्जॉर्बन सो फॉर दैट वी हैव टू परफॉर्म दिस टेस्ट वी आर वी आर गिविंग कॉलेजिस्टोकाइन एंड फाइंड आउट वेदर एंजाइम सिक्रीशन इंक्रीजेस और नॉट ओके सो दिस इज फर्स्ट टेस्ट Okay, first test we have completed number one that is analysis of pancreatic juice. Second one that is analysis of product of digestion. Miss one that is fecal fat excretion. As I told you, fat contained in the stool normally it is only five to six grams per day. But if there is pancreatic insufficiency, the fat is not absorbed because fat is not digested. So fat is excreted. Excretion of fat that is forty to fifty grams per day. Okay. Other test that is uh, to be performed that is tripeptide hydrolysis test. What is uh, to be done here? There is synthetic peptide is given which is having B two vitamin B two, T four thyroxine and para amino benzoic acid. Okay. Normally, what happens? This uh, chymotrypsin. Chymotrypsin is uh, secreted by it is uh, pancreatic proteolytic enzyme. Okay. So this separates this. B two T four from para amino benzoic acid. Okay, so this B two T four are separated and para amino benzoic acid is separated and this para amino benzoic acid that is absorbed and that is excreted in the urine. So after giving this tripeptide, we have to collect the urine sample and to find out that whether para amino benzoic acid is there in the urine excretion or not. Okay, and Activity of this chymotrypsin that is studied by urinary excretion of para amino benzoic acid. Okay, so this is another test. Third variety of test that is estimation of serum amylase level. Normal value of serum amylase that is fifty to one twenty units per liter, and this is commonly increased in patients of acute pancreatitis. So to diagnose or to uh, find out acute pancreatitis, you have to estimate the level of serum amylase. So this is serum amylase test. So this is all about pancreatic function test. Uh, again, you can get all my notes in soft copy and hard copy for soft copy, Vesalius application, and for hard copy, you can get it from Flipkart or Amazon. My book that is Physiology Notes. WhatsApp group number seven eight six three eight double two double six eight. Links for all that is given in the description box. Thank you so much. If you like my video, you can like it. You can share with all your friends, and you can subscribe our channel. Thank you.